Gamorrean Guard comes packaged on the Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary card back. It looks just like the vintage figure. In the top left hand corner you have the Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary logo. It indicates that it is for children 4 years of age and older in the top right hand corner. In the center you have the Return of the Jedi logo and the character's name. You have artwork featuring the Gamorrean Guard and you have the Kenner logo in the bottom right hand corner. On the back of the box you have a Star Wars logo surrounding a cross cell that has other figures that are soon to be available. These include the Gamorrean Guard, Bib Fortuna, the Emperor, Paplu, Stormtrooper, and Chewbacca. You have the Star Wars Black Series logo in the top right hand corner. And it says commemorate the 40th anniversary of Star Wars Return of the Jedi with figures from the Black Series featuring classic design and packaging. You also have the Disney and the Hasbro logo and the UPC symbol and copyright information. This figure looks great. It's a really solid figure but the sculpt and paint are what really make it stand out. You can see that the eyes are a very stark blue and you have the white horns and teeth as well and you've got some shading on his snout and around his mouth. You can see he has the studded parts of his helmet on the metal parts and on the sides as well. He also has the studded shoulder pads that look really good. The leather harness that he has is a separate piece. It's, um, you know, of course plastic, but it feels really authentic. And the leather under that, the brown leather, is really cool looking. And it has a nice feel to it as well. The fur is real fur on the, um, around the belt and loincloth area. And he has a separate piece under that that's brown as well. You can see that he has the strapped feet like the Gamorrean Guard always has, and he has the gauntlets on his wrists. It's a great looking figure, and it looks great on my Star Wars shelf. Not much posability though, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, let's take a look at the Gamorrean Guard's articulation. His head is on a ball joint, but you don't have a lot of movement. You can move it from side to side a little bit, but this um, little tunic kind of gets in the way. He also has an articulated jaw, which is really cool. His arms rotate, but not quite 360 degrees because of this armor here. And they both move out to the side. He's got an elbow joint. And his elbows pivot out to the side. His wrists rotate. Plus they are hinged to move up and down. Okay. He also has a waist swivel. Legs move forward and backward to a degree and out to the side. But there again, this um, fur and plastic deal here kind of hinder that. He has double jointed knees. Plus his feet, well, they're hinged to pivot up and down. They don't do a great job of it. But they do rotate a full 360 degrees. Well, I said they did. This one's not cooperating. There we go. All right. So that is the articulation for your Star Wars Black Series Gamorrean Guard. Let's 
let's take a look at the Gamorrean Guard's gear. He comes with this long pike, which it really stays bent out of place because it's such soft plastic. But when you put it into the figure's hands, it straightens itself out, so that's cool. He also has the traditional Gamorrean Guard axe like the vintage figure had and another axe that honestly looks like something that you'd see on Jeepers Creepers. One, this is a big solid figure. Two, the sculpt and paint are top notch. Three, the fur BVDs, they are really cool. One, this lack of articulation in a figure in 2023 is embarrassing. And two, that in mind, the price point's a little high. So that's my review of the Gamorrean Guard from the Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary Black Series. What did you guys think about this figure? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up. Ring that notifications bell and you'll never miss another video from Old School Toys. May the Force be with you.